Zero oh, eight. There's a salt. I'm calling the police. Oh, seriously, dude. Seriously. Get out. Outside. There is commotion between two customers and Les's attention is drawn to it. You oh, don't don't show me the don't don't understand. Don't put your hands on that woman. Right. Right. Y'all done already took cuts on the line. He then tries to settle the matter. I did not touch that girl, man. I swear on my mama's girl. You know you you Shh. They just need to finish their business and get out of my store. You don't push a lady, especially one that can kick your ass. Crazy ass. That's how people end up dead. Crazy ass mother. A woman seeking to sell her coat finds herself confronted by Les. How much would you give me for this? How much you want? At least a thousand. We don't go that kind of money on those because we can't sell them for that. I give you a hundred. I want more than a hundred. How about a hundred? Feel how good this feels. The situation starts to escalate. Y'all about to give me my thousand dollars. I'm gonna give her more than a dollar. What the f a dollar? Who the f is he? He's my fur expert. He not no mother f expert. I'm not going home with no money. And security promptly intervenes. Security? How you doing? You my security too? Oh, y'all mother don't know who y'all went up in here. This mother mean cop. In the quest for a camera, Seth extends his help. I'm looking for cameras. Let me look at this black one right here. How about that? 90 bucks. All right, yeah, I think I'll take this one. You just want me to ring you up? The behavior of this customer appalls Seth. I'll just keep it right here. I'm just going to keep looking around. Can you just keep it on the okay. showcase for me, please? I'm still going to be shopping around. That's fine. Let's pay for it now, and then you can keep shopping. Pay for everything at the end of shopping. Then I'll hold the camera until you're ready. Eventually, Seth reaches his limit. Hold, hold on to your camera until you're ready to buy something. It sounds to me like you're trying to call me a thief. There you go. I'll solve that. Thank you, sir. Byron, clock that out. Store socks. I'll let everybody know in Detroit, this store socks. Have a good day. Ashley warmly greets two young men interested in purchasing two rings. Oh, that shirt. My budget is $50. 25 each. Can I see that one right there? Here you go. Try that one on. How much would you, uh, would you charge for it? This one's going to be about 225 Things don't kick off on a positive note. Uh, it's totally out of the budget. All we have is $25 each. Is there a cheaper shit anywhere or what? These start at 25 and up Ugly. in your price category, yeah. I would never wear that. All right, is there anything else we can look at or should I just go somewhere else? Do I control your legs? This Unexpectedly, something happens. It's a walk. Excuse me, guys. Maybe I can help you. What about that ring? Right here. Yeah, that. I like it. What was the price on this guy? Price is actually 50, but I'd give it to you for 25. How much would you do for this one? Uh, I can give them both to you for 25. The two young men leave content and satisfied. So $50 is good? $50 for both, of for both of them sounds like a deal to me. The upcoming lady is eager to reclaim her item. You come to get a computer. Okay, yes, I I'm got gonna, the money. The maturity date on it is Wednesday, December 11th of 2013. It, it don't say due date. It say maturity. Growing increasingly agitated. Y'all strip, bitch. I want my computer. That's all I want is my computer. Damn. Don't, no, no, no. You, don't, don't, you give me my damn computer. My computer. The maturity date. Get are you going to listen or are you going to talk around computer. my computer? The situation escalates. Oh, ma'am, your merchandise is no longer here. Joy yes, or bitch, something? would you go get my computer? Hook, will no, you no, show no, her no, where no, the no, door no, is? No, no, no. Don't no, no. put your hands on me. Don't touch me. I'm not leaving that down my field Have a good day. A customer is seeking to secure a loan. I wanted to see if I could get a loan on that one. They're not going to take. Check that one out. I know I bought that one here. You got the receipt? We only take silver if it weighs 35 grams or more. OK, what about the, uh, the stones? These are CZs. Cubic is Yes. Ashley tries to help. But I want a loan on something that I bought from here. So I can guarantee that we did not sell that to you for $250. The diamonds are fake. Ooh, now see, today's not a good day. Today's, today's a good day. Oh, bitch, please. Stay. What am I, a good bitch or a bad bitch? I don't know. Every damn thing I'm putting up here is fake. Are you falling asleep? Look here, bitch. You getting on my nerves now. Go have a nice I'll call day. call you bitch one more time. One more time. Let me hear it. Time. Bitch. Thank you. There's everything fake about that bitch. Fake ass store. Trying to get her item back, an issue occurs. I came to get my TV. Do the ticket? No, but I should be in the system. You're not in our system at all. Can you check again? Damn, how long is she going to take? She's saying I ain't in the system. What type of business is this and you can't find me in the system? Get the supervisor. Right, you don't have to you see how she understand. was looking at you? She looked at you like you were stupid. Les has to get involved. Hello? Excuse Somebody needs some. Ex how is it that I'm not in the system? I looked yeah. three times. No, that was you don't you know why you're You see nothing. Oh, now I guess I'm glad. Very pretty and very useful eyes. Thank you. 
things quickly escalate. This thing is going nowhere fast. It's time to go. Kiss me all over, don't miss my ass, you You got me twisted. Eat that, doo They gonna find me and my That's it for me. Two customers are in a heated argument. The issue does not end there. The older woman was outside waiting on the younger woman. Get your ass. Walk, walk up. What a guy. Run up. Run up. Hey, hey, she's going in her purse. She she got got a gun. In the store are two customers trying to get their item. I lost my television. I ain't got time for this stupid ass. I will be talking to my lawyer about this, okay? So, and you are? I'm her mother. Oh, okay. Rich tries to help. We are going to take care of that. Rodney's going to bring your TV up. Take the finger. Y'all lost the TV, and we yes, still got to pay the police to get it out. But why are we dealing with you? Things escalate. She leaves and I leave. You don't get your money. She's the one who's brought That's me That's fine. Here. Take your TV back. That ticket. I want my TV or some cash. Give him this my money for before I nut up in this my. I don't have the police up in this my. Or I can come back on another way. Finally, it is all settled. Are you threatening me? Are you threatening me? Because you're all in my face. Please go outside. You're making me upset. Okay, handle it. I want to that old man up. Get that out of my face. You too. Stupid son of a bitch. Get him up, like. He gave me the exact Next up, a lady tries to pawn her item. The offer is not good enough. I can give you 325, 330. That's pushing it. Y'all okay. can't give me 500 for my ring? No. That's not going to help me. Things are not going so well. Somebody come in here and spend their money. No, I don't have your receipt. Why yeah. can't you just give me five hundred? Because I can't just give you five hundred dollars. I, I can't give you something that it's not worth the money. An already agitated customer walks in the shop. I've been waiting all day, and I want my out of here. Do you have your receipt? No. There's my ID. So what you gonna do about that? I'm in a rush. You're making me miss my hair appointment. Working on it there, Marcus. I would say that, that he passed for a woman. I don't even because know what the hell you're talking about. my ID says, is that a problem? This is a guy. Find the because it's here. Just do your job and I want. Ashley has to intervene. If you're okay. gonna cuss at me, things aren't gonna be a good I don't give things a and yeah. I want. Ma'am, Ma you're right here, you're being really I don't rude. Give a I mean, Ashley, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I don't need to shake your hand. Oh, okay. You're too good for me? Anyway. So your wedding good. ring? When they have it paid on? Listen, your wedding party. band has been pulled. What's the no. overdue? So you need to find my Security steps in. Marcus, hey, you will not listen, talk to any gonna... of my employees like I that. Walk out the door. Touch me if you want to. I'm gonna go. Oh, so okay. now you're gonna come from behind the counter. Bye. Two customers draw the whole store's attention. What the hell? You mean to tell me you don't stole my damn laptop and I don't know these damn kids? That's how you don't play me? We're supposed to be playing with me. You're gonna get my ass. Get your ass home, bitch. Watch your punk ass home. I got my laptop home. It does not end there. Two ladies thinking they won a big cash prize. The earth is shaking. The ground is moving like... All the commotion has Seth approach them. I wonder how much that is. You got nothing. It's for sale. And so therefore, that's what made her and I come over here to yeah. try it. You really think I'm about to pay you money? Seth has to intervene. This is a toy. You tell me where it says in English anything that you want, anything. You want to you talk to the manager? You are. You are. You're the manager. I'm the manager. Oh, nice. You're, you're, you're not. You're not the manager. Where does it say where it's going? Where does it say where it's going? Where does it say where it's going? Security puts a stop to the commotion. Let's go. Let's go. Please, let's go. Touch me. Well, just keep walking. Don't tell me what to do, though. 
You know we won. It's as big as day. We won. Out of order. Thank you. See you later, man. Where, where did my daughter go? I don't know. Damn this, sir. Come on. Come on. Y'all out of order. A father looking to get his daughter's item. I need to pick up some stuff for my daughter. You have the ticket? No. Unfortunately, without a ticket, I can't let you pick it up. What do you mean without a ticket? No, no. I want the stuff. Les steps in. We can't give it to you. But I can talk to you on the play, sir. Me? What kind of business you running? A legitimate one. Bet you want to talk and give me my stuff. You're out here. I'd get my stuff. I'm not going to go all the way back to Mississippi, go back down here just for a ticket. And what's he going to do? Security escorts him out. Yeah, him? but he ain't no alligator. He's just a bad mother. I don't care. Hey, I ain't scared of him. Oh, I ain't scared of him. Hey, man, you can't get Hey, I tell you what, big boy. Low down place. Ashley tries to help a customer. I'm looking for a power steamer. No, I don't have a power steamer. So, a power washer. Can you get a guy to help me? You don't know about two. You're just a female, a dumb female. He wants someone other than Ashley. Well, what are you standing here for? She gonna help me. Okay, she's a stupid female. How's that? Because she don't know what I want. Byron steps in. I'm gonna show you what a real man. Step outside. Step outside. Okay. We outside. What's okay. going on? Whatever. Okay. Put your happen. hands on me then and you find know what? out. You know. Oh, I will. Pump. A customer wants to buy a luxury watch. I'm looking for a Rolex. Anything in particular? I like something with a diamond bezel. Absolutely. Not on that one in particular. Most of us are certified gemologists. So we can pretty much You're tell. a certified gemologist? I am not, but I have some on staff. Well, I can tell you right away, these do not look like diamonds. He claims to be an expert. And how much are you asking for this? This one is 6000 For a Steam fake Rolex? Here. With all due respect, this is not even running. Hey, because there's no battery in it, because it's all movement-based. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really inclined to call the Better Business Bureau. Seth puts an end to it. Why are you lying to me about this watch? You're insulting my intelligence. So, no, I'm you're sorry. Insulting I'm my sorry. You're, you're insulting I, no, my drove... story. We are not doing business. What you just did, my friend, is a 10 0 oh, It's assault. Sure. I'm calling the police. I wouldn't care. I, I'm you calling call. the police. You call the NAACP, the NCAA, the AILU. I don't give a damn. Get out of here. Tell them Byron. Well, they wouldn't sell me a Rolex. Moving on, this next customer walks in with his translator to purchase an item. ¿Cuánto, cuánto cuesta la, la calavera? He wants to know what's the price on the house call. $200. Ashley steps in. Se me recuerda a, a Momo, eh? Says he reminds him of his cow, Momo. Tengo aquí en el pescuezo. <laughs> Had a tattooed on his neck. He wants to know if you will take 50 for it. Wow. It seems that language is not the only barrier. A loca, dile, dile que yo dije que está loca la. He says you're crazy. He wants to speak to somebody else. Hable más, por favor. You can talk to me. A loca la señora, pero está loca. I met a crazy female. Mira, Momo. Yeah, it reminds me of Momo. I understand what he's saying. Háblame bien. Si yo te estoy hablando bien, no te estoy gritando. The situation gets out of hand, and Byron steps in. Dile que no hable de Momo así, no. Dile que no hable de Momo así, no. He thinks he said something bad about his cow now. Dile, pero dile, güey. He said he'd rather you shove it up your ass. Este cabrón, ¿qué va a hacer? Este cabrón, no me toques. No me toques, cabrón. Cálmate, cálmate. Hey, no me toques. Adios, amigos. Viva México. Up next, a customer who is confused. Three diamonds? Perfect. All you need to do is buy something that has gold on it. We charge you for the gold and we give you free diamonds. This ain't free diamonds. Exactly like right. Just... Free diamonds. Why would you put that sign up? You should have, like, a little word. On if you sign. buy something, you get it free. However, he seems to not understand. Bull You're 100% like right. Bull ass sign. What's up, bro? Why are you standing over me like that? Well, you need to take that sign right here and you need to put the extra word that he say. Other than that, man, with that. You want to help me? Man, you. you ain't all don't need your help. I'm waiting for my free dime. Lying ass bitch. Security comes in and resolves the situation. A liar, man. Time to go. Man, what the f man, get off me, dog. Don't, Time don't touch to go. Me. I don't need you to touch me. You bull lying ass motherfucker. Next up, we have a dissatisfied customer. That one I like, get the green one. I need the green one. The green one I buy. You say you take it somewhere else. Les tries to resolve the situation. The other guy bought the green one. I know. And then he turned around and bought the red one. No, I, I, you tell him the green one, not the red one. No, you say it's for the cut the grass. That one is just for the snow. Come on, no, shake the eyes. I'm sorry? I'm sorry, what'd you say? Nothing. Well, then shut the f up. I got a better idea. Give me his money back and don't give him anything. He has reached his limit, prompting security to handle the situation. Is this motherfucker kidding? From now on, this motherfucker is not allowed in. Too much vodka.
an agitated customer faces disappointment. For about 40 mother minutes, man. My mother money, dog. Y'all got me fucked up here, man. I need some money, dog, bro. Babe, back up, man. I came up here to keep taking cuffs, man. Man, give me some money, dog, right now, dog. Seth steps in. Man, y'all better give me something, dog. I've been up in this mother 40 fucking minutes, bro. Uh, we don't take them. I need some money, dog. Give me something. Can't give you anything. What do you mean? I can't help you. If you can't talk my I saw one last week in this bitch. What about your watch? You want to pawn your watch? Hey, I'm not even my mother. So then I don't know what you want from us. We're not taking this. It's been live about 40 minutes, bro. All my customers are about that, that shit, man. Yeah, man, what up, man? What's up? We don't care. I don't care either, man. Don't touch me either, man. Don't touch your Put your hand on the man. An irate customer grabs Seth's attention. I didn't when it get to you, I'll take care of you. So I got way all the way around this time, man. That's some straight bull, dog, man. You see me talking to shit, man? He makes sure he is put in his place. You come here. You the manager? Yeah, you're not going to cause a scene here like that. I'm not interested in your stuff. You're going to take your business somewhere else. Listen, dog. I'll listen out there. Take your stuff and get out. The situation is promptly addressed. Like you're about to do something, man. What no, you we're not doing, doing anything. Talk no, to you. you don't I mean, need to talk to him. man. You about to do something, though? You want to talk to a manager? You're talking to him. Okay, but I don't need him, though. I need him. All right, you, you might you might will need him. Oh, don't put your hands on him, cuz. That's all I'm going to tell you. Just don't touch him. No, you watch dude. out, man. Watch no, out, cuz. Seriously. Dude, seriously. A familiar face enters with a broken item. Come here. Hey, hey, yeah, man. You know I got carpal tunnel. You're bringing this TV as a crack on the screen. Crack. That ain't nothing. Because of the crack, give me three. I'm taking it in. Plug it in right now, Does man. Work? Perfect quality, boy. Y'all bull man. Y'all playing games with me. Plug that baby let's, up. Let's do it. You about to love this. Push the button. Look. Wait for it. <laughs> Boom. Did you see that right there? Boasting without much substance. Look, man, just give me 250 for it right now. Let so now you know. lowered it, right? Give me 175 for this. Give You'll me 175. Go on. I'm out there now. I want you out the door. I need 150. Next time, bring you something valuable then. Hey, I appreciate it. Nice up. seeing you, bud. I'm out to go, man. I, I ain't even got time uh, for this board. There we go. The customer returns a couple of days later. All right, man, look, brought in the PlayStation 3. But keep that and just get a loan on this tablet. Now he's telling me I got to be charged the interest. You borrowed money from us, you owe us interest. Now you trying to play me like I'm stupid, dog. Go ahead. It doesn't matter if you held on to it for a minute, 30 days, or 89 days. You still owe interest on the money that you borrow. So you're not listening to me. I'm not bro. insulting your intelligence. You're my intelligence, you're insulting, bro. insulting, period. Man, every time I come in this mother <laughs> this some bull <laughs> day, it's on my <laughs> right there on the thing. I'm a, 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 I'm a bad customer. However, he returns, and despite less offering the item, the customer pushes things too far. One, please. Excuse me. Can you please assist, please? I got a brand new mother PlayStation 3. Take this over to the brown counter. We'll take care of it. Right. There you go, sir. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Hold on, hold on. This ain't mine. Is this the wrong one right here? This is, I don't know who it is. It ain't mine. I mean, this check is. this in. Look, look, look. Mine was brand new out the box. Resulting in him being shown the door. What is this? Yours. I'm on my motherfucking PlayStation 3. What you that talking about? That is yours, sir. You gonna straight up play me like that? What you want? Y'all gonna run me? You got your goons? I got goons. And I ain't threatening you. I'm telling you a promise, boy. I swear to God, if y'all don't give me my PlayStation, boy, I caught 30, 40 goons up here right now. Les finds himself grappling with a situation. Taking out this here couch, you know, and uh, my man walks over, knocks over the lamp. I picked it up for being a nice guy. My man blaming that on me. So if you didn't break it and he didn't break it, I don't know how the I got know. it. Armed with the truth and the need for decisive action. Oh, you knock it over, bud. Were you gonna buy it? No, it's broken. I'm crazy, mother. How crazy are you? To do what? Whip your ass, old man. You don't wanna do the. Byron steps up. Oh, I got him, sir. Yeah, come outside. I dare you. Beyond the store's confines, an unexpected event unfolds. I'll give you a bit of it, dog. Yeah, good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Hey, you wanna watch Bam? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Unbelievable. <laughs> I guess you don't have any money for the lamp. Two customers enter with an unusual story. I'm trying to sell my guitar today. Uh, about $200. We're just trying to sell this for $200. We have a baby coming up. One of us, maybe. How is that possible? Leaving Seth appalled by the narrative. You guys both slept with the same girl, and she's pregnant, so you don't know who, who's and, uh, These guys were complete <laughs> idiots. Seth has already made up his mind. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, bud. We just well, need $200. Busted, so we I know. Pay, man. I wish I could help you out, but it doesn't look like that's going to be possible. With uh, bucks, man. You know what? Take this guitar. Just give me $20. We'll get the out of here, man.
the situation worsens. You're gonna get the out of here. No, I'm not. Man, this place, man. I'll go show you what I can do. Both anyways, bunch of garbage. Won't even give me twenty dollars. The customers proceed to make a statement while leaving. Do you think I'm playing with you? Clean it up right now. You pick it up with your rich ass. You're you gonna get with me on my territory? Get on your knees and clean it up. A father seeking a birthday gift enters the store. I'm trying to find some jewelry for my daughter. Her birthday's in like two weeks. She's gonna be 12. She's gonna be 12. Yep. Yeah. But Ashley is visibly displeased by his behavior. You want to I've got allergies, man. I itch like super bad. We have a heart one. It's really pretty. Can I see it? Can I just show it to you? I can't try and like look at it. That's bull. But the gesture is not well received. Can I see the sanitizer for a second? I'm not going to use sanitizer. Why don't you guys go f yourself? I don't even care about the sale anymore. I just want him out of here. Classy. Alleging that his belongings were stolen, this customer insists on their prompt return. Wait a minute, it's your responsibility. No, it's your responsibility. Put it on that table. Put it right under the sign that says we are not responsible. Just let me see who the it was on the camera. Go get that tape. You gonna wish y'all got it back. Dangerous threats are exchanged. What does that mean? What the fuck you think it means? Come on, blow your little motherfucker. Hold them right there. Hold them. Hold them. Liz won't let this kind of behavior slide. Now you don't ever threaten us ever. You understand that? I have a threat going on right now in American Jewelry. Thank you. They're on their way. We're waiting for the police. We'll wait for the police to come. We have to make sure we are protecting our customers, protecting our employees, and protecting the store. Next, a customer wanting to pawn an item. Yeah, I was going to see how much I could pawn this for. And how much you looking for? Um, five. His requests will not be fulfilled. Will you accept anything under 500? Uh, no. I'm at about 150. We wouldn't even sell this for $500. Ashley steps into the conversation. They got the same one for 17.95. No, so you just said we wouldn't sell it for 500. Things escalate. We cannot give you 500. Okay, right I here. can understand that, but 150, I might as well just give it to you for free. You can if you want. That's your own prerogative. Ashley does not tolerate the customer's words. The problem is that it's the weight of the gold. You're not even trying to help me, though. You're trying to bullshit me. You were daddy's baby, so really? of course, yeah, really. Hey, bud. My name is Jeff, not Bud. Oh, damn no. well I don't want the loan for $150. I don't understand what the problem is. You got you all your punk-ass security you guards ass? around, your punk-ass daddy in the back. Less and Seth arrive in a flash. What's up? You're here, mother... I'm saying, don't touch me. Oh, okay, come on, let's go outside. Hey, what you mean you ain't gonna touch me? You touching me now? I'm giving you a massage. Mother... I don't give a oh, about you, not. your daughter, your son, nobody. No, you. Back in, no. punk ass daddy's girl. No. Two customers walk in the shop. I'm trying to sell it. You got interested. That's some good Why is that? This is enough. Hey, look. So why the you ain't interested in this? We're not interested in this. Well, where'd you buy it? Back of a uh, truck? No, 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 no. Seth attempts to explain the situation. This stuff is not hot. No, I'm not saying it's hot. So you don't buy this? No, I'll tell you why. If you... Why? Because you think yeah. it's stolen? Look. We're talking to him. Okay, so you okay. let me talk? We see these speakers come in all the time. What right. the f Hold on, hold on. Stop your f***ing roll. You're not going to put your, get your hand I, out of my don't face. Don't ever touch me. Or else what? Security has to step in. Hey, look. Oh, 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 oh. Cheerio, partner, I'm out of here. Everything appears suspicious with this customer. I just got this phone that I bought here, and this don't work. It keeps freezing and like that. I need a new phone, dog. Okay, you got your receipt? No, I ain't got it with me. I ain't bring it. Just get me another phone. That's all I'm asking for. I don't have my receipt. I just clearly told you that, man. Clearly you told me that. I'll you need to fix this or... Without the receipt, there's nothing I can do for you. And getting irate with me, me is not going to help you out. He starts pointing fingers. Who sold the phone to you in the first place? Right there, him right there. Yeah, you, you sold me this phone right here. Yeah, but we haven't had one of those up for sale since I've been here. I was gonna clearly have to knock his freaking head off. Thank you very much, I appreciate you coming on service. over here. You... Tensions start to escalate. Man, you and your mohawk, shut the hell up. Can I talk to the manager or somebody? The goatee go is the you. manager. Do this yeah. phone work? It's a simple question, does this phone work? You know what, can you go show him how it works? Uh, take a picture out in the parking lot. Why are you touching me? Is that 
clear? Send me a picture of the receipt from your phone. He wasn't no manager. He couldn't have been no manager. Not looking like that. Next, a customer trying to help his girlfriend. My girlfriend got locked up yesterday. They said she was soliciting prostitution. And that's that's a lie. I love her. She's nice. Him and Les are not on the same page. I need 300 bucks. I can go 80 bucks. I need 300 bucks so I can get my baby out of that f***ing county, dude. Things escalate quickly. Me, f you, f everyone. F well, thank you very much. You get this fake ass too. Thank over you here. very much. Have a nice day. Yeah, you have a nice day. This next customer is unhappy. You're going to what? I didn't hear what you said. Tell me what you're going to do to the f***ing hand out of my f***ing hand. my face. You ain't supposed to touch me. Come on, man. Let's go, baby. The tension keeps building. Shut up, Kill you, if somebody threatened us, there is no chance you was getting to your car. Dangerous threats are made. The police is called. Hi, I am a threat up here at American Jewelry and Lawn right now. Surprisingly, the customer apologizes. I was mad because I lost all my stuff. I might have did say something to that effect, but it was only venting, like any normal person would. He gonna walk you out. So I decided to let him go. He got very lucky. Next, we have a customer trying to pawn a TV. Looking towards pawning my TV and my DVD player. Can't take that. And realistically, I'm not going to be able to give you a loan on that TV. It wouldn't matter much to me. I would rather sit here and talk to you. We are in for story time. I'm really a somebody, you know? I really am. You're soon to be hero of this nation in which you're standing in today. I have been an All-American football player. I got a $80,000 resume. I was security slash homeland security off. I'm only 20. Okay. You can't find nobody else that like that. Seth gets back to business. There's nothing I can do for you. This stuff is just too old. Look, I'm trying not to just make this difficult. You know a lot of me? I said Perfect. You understand? Then take it out of here. Things get serious. How about I have you take it out? I don't. You think you scare me? So get the f out of here. You make it. You want to see me make it? Yeah. Walk. Back up, dude. I ain't touching you. Don't touch me, man. Man, I'll break his face, man. I bitch press your weight low, dude. Why don't you take that piece of shit and get off the property? Okay, Squeaky. Time for you to go. This gentleman walks in to get some money. Hey, what electronic set, man? Let's see what you I got. I ran out of gas in, in the damn parking lot. It doesn't matter how much it costs, man. I just need $150. 30 I want my 150 please. I 35 like Seth does not budge from his offer. That's it. Either I want, want $100. It. I'm not leaving your store. You better get three bodyguards for me. No, I really don't need nobody. It's just gonna be me. Let's go, hey. bro. Things begin to escalate. Hey, nah. <laughs> this <laughs> man. Get off me. Think I'm playing with y'all? <laughs> they gonna let me man, put y'all. I want y'all help me out, man. Turn right. Oh, oh, oh. This customer approaches the glass window. I got a problem. While I was out of town, my wife came up here and piled all my stuff in her name. I want to know if I can get it out, period. Can you get it out without her? She got an ID holder her account? What the f you mean? She, but it's my f though. We getting a divorce, we ain't together. With her having That's some bull f man. I done bought so much f in this f place, man. Who is the owner, though? Les steps in to see what the customer needs. Yes, sir. She piled my stuff when I was out of town. Okay. Put an ID hold, but she gave me the pile receipt. Oh. She put an ID hold on it. We going through a divorce. There's nothing. I, I just want oh. out of here, man. Some dirty one. The way y'all talk to people. I should talk to y'all. Bitch is retarded, man. Kicking off, a customer attempts to return an item. I'm trying to find out how much I can get for this watch. Uh, actually, I bought it from here. Really? Mm-hmm. You know, I, I'm just looking to get about 200 for it or something like that. How much you pay for it? About 250 Nine. Right but Seth remains skeptical of the story. I don't have a receipt with me. I sell in my showcase the exact same watch for $30. Can I, can I get the 200 for it? You know that's my bull. Trying to go there and nothing like that, man, but that bull. And the customer's words become increasingly disruptive. Don't ask me for a receipt. You got this smart-ass mouth on this uh, lollygag. Man, I ain't here to talk. Man, let me get some of that mother money, man. You're not you getting anything. This smart mouth. I'm just trying to see some money. Watch this. Watch this. I'm just You're out of here. Seth takes decisive action. That's, that's just bull. Get out of here. Somebody got a receipt. Can I get a $200 receipt? I'm, man, go. Oh, straight up, cuz, drunk, y'all. Motherfuckers got me falling in this bitch. What's going on, man?
Yeah. A frustrated man enters, facing a tough day. Good, how are you, sir? I'm in a bad way. I'm out here on a short vacation, and I wound up breaking my trailer out here. This is all I have is my daughter's uh, ring. How much did you pay for the ring? About $500. Really? And the situation spirals downward. These stones that are around it are all glass. No. I can show I, it to you, too. The I'd like to see it. Put all the way up. That's as real as it gets. You can't do anything for it. It doesn't have any value. At the amount of silver value, it's going to be less than 10 bucks. You won't give me anything for it? Bullsh**! You can help me with this. I think you're trying to f me is what's happening. Requiring security's intervention. You. It's more than an ounce. Go to hell and get out of here. Way to help everybody out. I it? would if you yeah. were a human being. Thanks a lot, buddy. Go f yourself. Yeah. You. You Don't let the door hit you in the ass. Yeah, it would hit me in yeah, the ass. Okay. I'm off the fing hinge. I'm stuck here in Detroit from fing Wisconsin. A man attempting to sell an item encounters Seth and Rich. We got a laptop man just trying to get some cash. How much you looking for? 325, 300. 300's a little out of the, out of the question. Right, what are we talking about? What are we, what about a buck. A buck. But their counteroffer doesn't meet his expectations. I sell them for 200. This Rob be got a computer. I rap now. I'm a rap artist, rap. man. So how about 100 bucks? You got to be playing, man. I pay him at one and a quarter. Uh, fuck all that, dog. Man, first of all, you, do. Me, we're, we're a team. About, you want to see me or something, dude? You want to get something popping? We can get something popping right now. Frustrated, he becomes hot-headed. Y'all some hoes. Y'all some bitches. Man, I ain't going no more way, though. What are you going to do? Bring your little bitch ass over here. Now I'm here. Oh, you out here, I'm dog? Man, don't touch me, guy. You know what I'm talking about, though, right? You feel me? No, I don't feel you. Mr. Ponytail Man with the f***ing tickler. Use a bit. Matter of fact, it's cold on this bitch. I'm out. Next in line, two customers attempt to sell a valuable item. I'm here to sell my yays. And stuff. Okay. Party years. I paid 5300 You overpaid. How much you want for these? 44 mm -hmm. I'm selling these for a grand. Less unable to meet their price, remains firm in his offer. If you paid 5300 retail and you want 4800 how am I going to make money? What you mean? You, you making too much money now. It's some bullshit. Man, you see these diamonds, man? These big boy diamonds, man. Thousand. Neither side is willing to compromise. Look, I ain't pay a thousand for these. I you know feel? you didn't. You know what I mean? I can feel you. Like a head and You don't know who the fuck I man, was. You don't know where the fuck I was raised. Like and you're I just said, talking you Here's a guy man. from the hood. He'll help you out. Come on, baby. Young buck. What's up, baby? Don't be out. Now, you on that pet shit, dog. You feel me? A customer enters excited about a rare find. Found this in the ocean. I'm a treasure hunter for like uh, 1,700. It was in the Atlantic Ocean, 350 feet deep. The one you're bringing me actually has not even a gold charm. They are not on the same page. I can actually give you 13 bucks. Can I talk to someone else, please? This is insulting me. You're insulting me. Byron steps in to mediate. Why, what, what's the matter? Why are you bringing this big You're bag? bringing it. Oh, up. my God. Yo, yo, can you get out of my face, yo? Intimidate me? You intimidate me? What, man? What's happening, man? You think you was all out of my mind? I'm going to do it. What, man? Uh -huh. You playing? You playing in my bag? Let's go. What? Then you put your hands on. All you guys are <laughs> to you touch, guy. Dicks. A man eager to propose to his lady. Today is a good day. My baby girl, we've been together three years. I want to propose to her. I'm going to blow her mind. You know, I'm going to sing a little song, everything sing. for Baby! Love you. I want to be with you the rest of my life. Take this and be my wife the rest of my life. So let's start here. Let me get that one, though. I like that one. But an unexpected issue arises. You want 500? 500 is what I got. That's right on the nose. Here you go. So you got a credit today. Yes. In store. There's a problem, though. This is a year old. Credit's only good for six months. The customer becomes agitated. I want to be with my lady. I want to marry her. What the hell am I supposed to do? I want the ring. Oh, hell no. This, this ain't happening today. You better go get your boss. The boss is me. I'm telling you, that ring is coming with... Man, what is he doing walking up on me, bro? Prompting security to step in. Back up off me, bro, before I snap. I'm sorry, bro. Why would you just take your teeth out of your mouth? You learned some in prison, dog, and you don't even want to see it, dog. Man, get, get up off you, ass. Hey, I'm telling you, we get married today, dog. Snag one more time. I'm going to show you what it's about, my boy. I'll put, you, I'll put you in a hole, dog. Man, I'm quick, man. I'm quick, dog. Y'all, I'm up out of here. Les greets a customer eager to retrieve her item. 
I know the computer is in here. Show me the ticket. And I'm a, I don't have it with me, but okay. I have my ID. Brand new Dale in the box, never been opened. But a misunderstanding arises about the specific item in question. Yeah, she does have a fur coat. We definitely have your fur coat. No, I want my computer. You have a fur coat in I, And I understand that. Y'all don't know how to talk to nobody. I'm the little dog. Taller no, than no. I am. Yeah, I'm a big, powerful mother big dog. Security promptly steps in. Now, what would you want? with a poor bitch's computer. I run this mother I'm like the VIP up in this bitch. So find my If I'm stupid, you stupid. We just two stupid mother Well, the problem is, is going her out of here. Yeah, it's enough. Yeah, it's like that big mother A woman intends to pawn her chain. Hi, I'm trying to uh, pawn this chain. I want to get like 250. You want to be able to take this? Why you want me to take it? Because it's not real. You got some jewelry. Where's your, where's your mother Ashley steps in. Why are you screaming? Me what? I want my mother money. I'm a boss. That's what I do. Get my money. This isn't real. It is real. Look, is you going to give me my mother money or do I have to come get it? Where's it at? Back up. First of all, that's not real. Why the keep saying it's not real? You will not scream at me. What you going to do? Ashley manages to find a solution. Let me see your watch if you want me to help you. Do you want me to let you pawn your watch for $250? I'll, I'll take the 250. You've been a great help. My pleasure. Now I'll come back again. Next in line, two ladies approach Ashley. I wanted to sell this ring. I'm sorry. Not real. I bought this from here. He decided. And, yes, she did. Don't cut her off when she's the trying to the talk. Do you have the receipt? But she delivers unwelcome news. You could just give me the money. Find that receipt. You're just a smart ass, ain't you? Y'all know y'all got your <laughs> Give her something. You a stupid bitch. Despite the setback, they ultimately leave the store with something. Two gentlemen enter, intending to return an item. I don't know why you buy it here. I don't, guys. I tell you not to. You brought me a piece of shit. don't work. It ain't worth damn. We yeah. bought this all this morning. It don't turn on. Y'all told us it was as is type. The situation escalates. As is a saw. As is a saw? Hey, he bought the <laughs> damn thing. So but who I'm are you? The, I'm the person to cut the wood. No, I got your wood right here. I don't even know what to say. Hey, was there a manager around here? Yeah, or you're talking to him. I got three kids older than this piece of <laughs> You know how to use a <laughs> saw? Nope. I'm not leaving until I get another damn saw from here. Byron steps in. What the you want, you big ugly mother? No, no, no. Oh, no. I ain't going nowhere. Why? Oh. You can't. Yo. The customer evicted from his home. I'm here today because I got evicted out of my apartment and I'm trying to pile my watch. I saw a similar one, 30 bucks. Seth cannot meet his demand. Pay $750 for that I watch. I saw you the same similar one for 30. Nah, man, it's a diamond watch. Those are CZs. I'm not robbing you, you don't have to accept it. I'm gonna throw this earring again, man. I paid a lot of money for that one. I get you 50 bucks for both. You sticking me up without a gun. You don't have to take it, right? This guy over here, you robbing me. Either you're gonna accept it or yeah, you're not. Nah, y'all, y'all, so. that, man. I ain't taking that. Y'all gonna sit y'all goon over here and at this yeah. motherfucker. Getting loud. Les steps in. Tell you what, come on over here. Let's talk about it, me and you. Come on with me. They robbing all of y'all, too. I leave up out this motherfucker if I was y'all. What's going on, man? Now keep your ass out here. Get what the you don't stay outside. You did, man. You like that, didn't you? You like that, didn't you, uh-huh? There's an old expression in the Gold family. Get the f out of here. That's how y'all gonna really go do me. F you, big dog. This customer runs into Les. Well, I'm here today because uh -huh. I have my grandmother necklace. I'm looking at at least about 2000 The problem with it is it's not real. That's not copper. It is. The customer has a different perspective. Can I look at it? Sure. Let me look at it from your class. There you go. You know about jewelry? I do. You sure? I know my jewelry. What is this piece called? That's the uh, the uh, magnifying glass. Mm -mm, jewelers look. Huh? I don't think so. I beg to differ. I, I, well, I need some money, man. Can't give you any money. You kidding me? No. Nope. Kidding me? No. Nope. You kidding me? Nothing. 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 Security asks him to tag along. I'm not leaving out of here with no money, man. Find hey, someone. To, uh, my holiday later. He don't know about jewelry, man. No, he knows. Nah, he don't know nothing, dog. Nothing. Up next, a customer looking to pawn his ring. Seeing how much I can get for that. How much you looking to get? Two hundred. What's uh, what's Petey? Oh, they call me Pistol Pete. Why do they call you that? 
What business is it I'm yours? Just, I'm just curious. I'm, I'm just, trying to sell yeah. a ring here. Questions from Ashley and Bobby J go too far. How much for the ring? How about Pinky Pete? Do... I like that name because you run your pinky and your name is Pete. Is this a f joke? I ain't playing being called f Pinky Pete. Let's do business or don't f talk at all. They try to make things better, but to no avail. I didn't mean any offense or anything about pink. Oh, really? It, I'm told you. Look at this guy. And his he's oh, he's right. Phone down. It's a calculator. This is a calculator. Tell you what. Time to go. Buddy. I ain't even play. Give me my ring back now. Security has to intervene. Come I ain't playing with. Come on. Later, later, Pete. Hello. This place. You. Done. This gentleman is in a bit of a tight spot. I need to pawn this to you. I'm from Chicago. My girlfriend's about to fly back home without me. I have no money. It's the only way I'm gonna be able to go. 200 bucks for it. Seth is quick to shut him down. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Tell so you, what are you gonna what offer? What brand is that? Chain Chong. <laughs> so what are you gonna offer me? I'm not interested. What the f I don't wanna get I... stuck in a tray. What am I gonna do? He begins to get agitated. I need the money. Please, my girlfriend's gonna dump me. I'm gonna be stuck in Detroit. Bull A situation unlike any other unfolds. This idiot. You're gonna make me leave? Get the fuck out of here. Get off my property. Trying to get his girlfriend out of jail? This boyfriend needs help. Girl ring up in here, she had to end up getting locked up. What I'm trying to do is basically sell it to y'all so I can get her out. In here already? Yeah. So how are you going to sell it? Where's the pawn slip? I ain't got it. I can't do anything for you. You can look her name up. I cannot. I cannot pull up somebody else's account without the pawn slip. Look, bitch, you pissing me off. Bitch, you can't check it out and I'm sitting here telling you in there. Things get too far and Les steps in. Give me the ticket. I ain't got the ticket. Check her name. Can't. Bring her ticket. I ain't got the ticket. She locked up. She's he does not let his attitude slide. Let me get the mother ring up. See, the mother ring you can't get because it's not in your mother name. No, so. I'm getting pissed off in this bitch. Let me get the mother Put your money. hands off my window. You tough behind this glass, huh? Les takes full control of the situation, and security does their job. I ain't helping you. I'm here. I'm not tough behind the window. I'm tough in front of the window. It's time to go. There you go. There you go. Tell your woman I said hello. Go the homeless when you're not Hey, I ain't worried, man. A customer is complaining about his loan. All I'm saying is, y'all know you're right. So you call me, you say something like something, or 60 or something, they say, oh, I won't give you 10. That's bull****. And I got the freedom of speech, and I can say what I want. Not in my store, you can't. They, they, they get your stuff for little or nothing. When you come back for it, they don't even want to give you nothing for it. Les tries to resolve the situation as soon as possible. Right at the door, sir, I'll bring it right to you. Just come put your hands on me. You walk. So you ain't got nothing else to say to me, do you? Right. I want my DVD. Well, you come. I'm bringing it to you right to the door, man. Come on. Come on, big fella. See, you put your hands on me. Right. Things begin to become heated between him and the security guard. Big fella, we'll bring it to you outside. There you go again. Yeah. We'll bring it to you. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Dog, what the fuck up, you dog? They got y'all as pets, and y'all gonna be their pets. Oh, man. Bring my He finally gets his item back. Once I get this, I'm good. But don't come in. Tell your boy, don't never put their hands on me. That's all I got to say. I'm done. You ain't no stuff. You. Oh, I would. You know what? I've never seen such a little. Y'all some ass bitches. Up next, a couple looking for a special item. We're looking for a promise ring. You're looking for a promise ring? This is kind of like an antique design. What are you guys asking for this? That's me, 350 bucks. Okay. Think about a uh, trade-in. We, we do trade-ins all the time. Oh. No. Oh. What's wrong with you? Oh. Yeah, he bought me those Valentine's Day. The boyfriend is not happy. What's wrong with you? Come back over here. He just told me how much he spent on them. How much he spent? He told me he spent a thousand. They're not real. Not gold, not diamonds. Man, what you talking about? They are real. So you mean you lied to me? About you don't know what you're talking about. He does. You don't know what I'm talking about. Relationship drama begins in the store. Why would you buy me some fake earrings? I'll just put this away. Fake ass earrings? You gonna buy me some fake ass earrings? Don't touch me. Do not touch me. Let me go. I'm I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I swear I should have knew better. I don't even feel bad about with his brother now. Liz was shocked when a couple pawned items for an unexpected amount. Digital camera. I got a watch with diamonds in it. Did you want to pawn it or sell? I'm looking to pawn it right now. We're kind How of. How much money did you need? About seventy hundred. Due to an unusual financial setback. 
I got laid off my job. I do construction and there's like no work right now. Yeah. Mortgage payment due today. We put the check in and well, we went to the casino. I usually play a hundred dollars a hand too. And I kind of yeah, hundred a hand. Hundred to two. Yeah, actually sometimes I do. Say what out of you, Mike. Uh, we're gonna do our best to help you out. The father-son pawn shop owners struck a deal. Thank you very much. You'll be able to go to the bank quick. Now they have $700 in their pocket. What are they doing with the money? We got a few hundred dollars more than what we wanted, and I'd really love to go to the casino, honey. We only needed 500. We got 700. They helped us out a lot, and I'm not going to blow it. Two young men approached Seth, sparking suspicion. Uh, can I speak to your manager? The speaker's blown. Like, he tested them out right there. And they're working. But it looked like they was working. Sticker on. Sticker on. What kind of sticker? You got a sticker on the other box. So if it wasn't blown. Return them. Well, I just need to see the receipt to see how long ago it was. I want to see a receipt. I want to make sure that they actually purchased the item from us. Because I don't know. If you change the speakers inside, there's no return policy on them. Just I'm not giving you no receipt. I just told you. Can I get some money back? Uh, I'll buy the box for 10 bucks. Well, you just said some money. I'm buying the box no. back. Eventually, they surrendered and Les provided a better solution. No, so, uh, you so want 10 bucks? Yeah, 10, 10 bucks. Some things. And then they have the audacity to get the money and then go talk to Les. Like, Les is going to override what I said. They walk over to me because I'm older. They trust my opinion. Do you have your receipt? No. I resolve it in 20 seconds. I'm wiser and probably the best looking guy in this whole store. Seth delivers bad news to a customer with a personality straight out of a cartoon movie. I need to sell this earring because my little red Corvette broke down. Sure. You know who I am, right? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> You know who this is? Your neighbor, isn't it? Prince, That's right? Are your pants see-through? Yes, my pants are see-through. Were you looking down there? Oh! I need about a thousand. Thousand? His exit takes an unusually quirky turn. No. That's not real. You gonna help me out? Excuse me? You're kidding me. The earrings aren't real. I bet your wife didn't say that last night. But you are dumb. You all have a good day. Take all care, right. bud. Ah! See you later, baby. A lady asserts that her item, initially intended for sale, is now to be reclaimed. Why is my out here on the floor? Why is that a different brand? Because it's a different brand. Hold on. Let me get this straight. Oh, so what you tell me? That ain't my right. right. So what you want? An apology? Sure. No. So apologize to him and you don't have to apologize to me. No, neither. It's a group deal. Nine spots out of nobody off. And jewelry. I shouldn't put that in my panties and walk out. Okay. Leaving Seth and Les dumbfounded. That ain't fake. That's real money. Wish the teeth were real. How you gonna fit my TV through this window? Why don't you finish with her? So she She's finished. Okay. I'm just going to get it. Thank you very much and have a blessed day. We're all gonna get my. There we go. Where's that coming? Are you? Boys, hook. I'm on hook right now. Hey, hook. You go. That's your ass. Stop playing. You made the birds of paradise fly up your nose. And that's that. Up next, there's an impatient customer who's unwilling to wait any longer. I am in line. You need to hurry up. Ashley attempts to assist. Okay, talk to me. I'm trying to pay on my fine so I can get my stuff out of here, all right? There's a lot. Yeah, I know what. You need to wait in line like everybody else. Okay, can I speak with the owner? Is Les here? Okay, wait. I'm What's the only one in line here. And you're ignoring me. I'm talking to her, her. Okay, you need to be talking to me. It's not your turn yet. When she okay, so now can we do business? Now it's my turn. Can I help you? Okay, what do I owe you guys? Do you have a ticket? No, I don't have a ticket. Les intervenes. You don't have a ticket and you don't have ID. No, I don't have a ticket or ID. I can't help you. You can't help me. Listen, no this right here is going too far. If you don't have the ticket, okay. if you don't have ID, okay. you don't get the stuff. You need a ticket or ID. And, and to consult my lawyer. That's what I'll do then. We'll be here. Come on. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. As a customer walks in, complaints start pouring out almost instantly. Do they got water in this time, my bitch? Tell them to my BZ out. Hey, sir. Sir, come on over here. You want to be first in line? Yes, sir. Seth doesn't hold back and expresses his frustration. Why are you causing a scene in here? I don't like your attitude. Perfect. So why don't you take that stuff and take it out the store? Nanny, you won't try to act an ass on me? I want to pawn this VCR. I don't want it. As the situation escalates... Time to go. Don't put your hands on my body. Don't put your hands on my body. All I wanted was to sell my VCR. <laughs> An exceedingly agitated customer waits anxiously on the line. I'm not waiting for the computers. I need my ring. Our computer system is down. We are trying to get it back up. Well, I put all this money down. I knew I shouldn't have come here. Let me see your pawn ticket. Despite her efforts to locate the ticket, 
success proves elusive. This guy's being very aggravated. Thank you. It's a ladies' ring. Right. It's not right. It's been printing up f***ing duplicate tickets. Buy oh more time. Oh, my God. Hey, here's my f right here. I found my ring. It's right here. Really? See, there's inscriptions, 14 karat gold. Do you think your ring is the only ring that says 14 karat gold? No. Right. The customer's overreactions intensify. Your ring is still in my vault. Once it gets turned back on, I'll be able to get your ring back out. So do you want to leave? Because you're making a huge spectacle in here. Come back, and I'll have your ring for you. You got one hour. I want my OK, have a good day. All right. A mother and daughter enter, hoping to sell some items. I got some really expensive stuff. Show me. The old liquor bottles, some old albums. Don't you think he worth something? No. You got a whole lot of nothing going on over there. Told you it wasn't worth nothing. You need to watch your trap because this worth everything to me. Les delivers unwelcome news, prompting the daughter to speak up. You better don't go there. The gas. You better don't. You better don't. I will kill you your ass. I'm your mama. You better don't. How the heck is you better don't? No, you don't. You don't. My off my what the is what the is is I bought you in this mother world. I'll take your mother ass out. Tensions escalate between them worth more than it's everything. Junk. Okay, 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 okay. okay. You know, bitch. All right, that's enough. That's you don't know enough. who the yeah. you yep. sit up there. Wait, don't give a about me. Wait a minute, you I, I, I don't give a I told you it wasn't worth That's my And don't you ever disrespect my No mother no. A lady enters the store with an immediate issue. I paid you $500 for this purse. I want my money back. This purse is fake. Give me my Slim. money back. You sold me a fake purse, and Give I want my money back. Ma'am, I'm my trying money. not to really You lose took my control. money, and I won't. Show I'm me the receipt. Back. I don't have a receipt. She is lacking essential details and violates store policy. So when did you buy it? A week ago. From me? From you. I want my money. No smoking here. Ma'am, there will be no smoking no in smoking the store. Here, miss. Put my cigarette miss, put your cigarette out. Get your hands off me. Miss, come here. Get Cigar your hands off me. Off. I'm not. Now, here's the deal. That's all I want is my money. Security steps in to enforce the rules. Okay, I'll see you in court. Goodbye. Get your hands off me. I'm gonna bust. I'm gonna hit you. You're not gonna bust nothing. I you hit you. Well, I go got ahead. it. Yeah, right. All right. Stupid ass motherfucker. Go ahead. She does not remind me of my grandmother. Encountering a lady with an exceptionally unique item. I got some merchandise here. I was wondering, what I for me? Chinese bohemian. Chinese boy man? Bohemian. Oh, Bohemian. bohemian. Uh-huh. Bohemian. And I Chinese paid a thousand dollars for it. The lowest I will go is three hundred. Les is taken aback by both the price and the nature of the item. It's a very cool piece. And this look, is that, this. I can brush for you too. I can brush it too. And you can call me. It's it's very beautiful. Look, you see how I'm done? I'm watch change. Bam! Hold the first name. The health department won't let us sell used hair. Um, uh, by the way, once you wash it, it'll be all right, won't it? Les stands firm in his decision to decline the offer. Uh, no, come on, we, I mean, it's good for drag queens. No, you're not a drag queen, are you? No, I'm, a, I'm all woman, baby. It's all woman. I'm still all woman. All woman. Come That's back. Come, come on, back when I'm you have. Come back. I'm trying to do this right now. Les turns her down and security escorts her where she needs to be. He's going to show it to you. He's going to show it to you. Watch this way. And then you can park it. Park it. You can park it all the way up. Next, there's a customer waiting for her item. Hey, can you go and get the guy that was helping me, please? I mean, how long the f I'ma stand up here? I've been standing an hour and a half. Ashley approaches. Can I help you? Somebody lost my camera. Lost it, or they're going to they find, can't it. find it? Find it. How you lose people? How long have you been waiting for? An hour and a half. Really? Yes. There seems to be an issue. Find it. I didn't find her. I get it. I'm giving up something else because I don't want to have her waiting all day. Let me look it up really quickly. Let me see that ticket. Don't bother yet. Ashley makes a discovery. I looked at the ticket and realized she's two and a half months past due. I'm tired of waiting. Y'all lost an item of mine, and I really, really want y'all to do something about it. Rich, I got it. Ashley makes a decision. Please hurry up. I'm tired of standing Been in a car accident. I can't find it, can you? No, actually, you're late. I just paid for it. She would have told me. Y'all just lost my <laughs> and don't want to give no. me my because <laughs> you lost it. Yeah. They keep going at each other. I want to see somebody else, not you. You can see I don't me. Even want to talk. Send your daddy out here. We're open till six, so you can enjoy your time here. I don't give a fuck. I paid for it though. This lady is actually a good customer. Let me say, if there's a customer out there screaming for you, don't go out there. Let me handle it. Les understands the situation better. How long I gotta wait? 
a good customer. She just paid a bunch of money. I was watching you through the window. Drop the ball. You have an option to get your money back that you paid, or you can get a camera that you're a pest doing. Trying to see my ass in the camera. There seems to be no end to this case. I'm trying to turn this on and it's not coming on. Yeah, when you get a camera, you gotta kind of charge it. Well, how I know if it works? I ain't never coming back. You're taking your slow time. If you would have found my stuff, I would have been out the door. You know, yeah, right? if you were here in October, we would have found it a lot easier too. Ashley is not helping in the situation. I have to get the f up out of here. So go. I'm really holding my composure on your ass. No, I'm not. Because I'm not gonna go out of my way for you at all, actually. The customer's behavior gets worse. Don't touch me. You with my feet. I can say what I want to say. Let me go. The business is not over yet. This is not enough. Y'all motherfuckers. This ain't. This customer walks up to Seth trying to return her TV. Excuse me. I just bought this TV. It's broke. Your receipt? No. Bought it yesterday. You don't have your receipt. No, I do not. The situation escalates. Did you drop it? Bought it with a crack on it like that? Yes, I did. I need you to give me my money back. Where's your receipt? I don't have the receipt. Can you hear me? Do I need to get loud? Who the hell you think you are looking me I'm up and down? Oh. I want my money Excuse back. Me. Security has to step in. Where are you going? Go home. There appears to be an issue with our next customer request. I'm gonna get my ring out. You have your ticket with you? No, I don't have my ticket. They didn't give me one. Well, I don't have it. You are not in the system. It, sh it, got, to, it got to be here. Seth takes over the situation. So you came here about how long ago? I came here two months ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have you in the system, man. I'm in a mother system. Look it up again. Can I talk to somebody else? You're talking to the person. Can I talk no, to somebody you else? You can't. You have to talk because your ass back there behind that mother window. Not behind the window anymore. Okay, could you please find my ring? I don't have it. Robin, thick looking mother. She gets kicked out of the store. Don't touch me. I want We're my ring. Away. I want my ring. I want my ring. Bitch. This customer walks up to Ashley. Is this guy here? Ah, oh, my favorite. Got a mink coat, a bomber jacket. Can we take a look outside recently? Oh, it's cold out there. I mean, seriously, it's the middle of summer. How do you know it's mink? I know, I know what mink feels like. It's not mink. Out of nowhere, the situation escalates. Silver Fox. It smells like mink to me. It's ripped. It's ripped. It could have ripped when I was walking up here. Who knows? Laugh. Man, laugh louder if you're going to smile. Time you come in here it's something new what'd you say i don't you know what i never liked you at you can't smile, stand you, you security steps in and escorts him out he's leaving that's all he's leaving come on then bro let's go keep walking the alley you little bitch mother the out of here you ain't pissed me off i was in a bad mother mood today already a customer walks in attempting to sell back an item he purchased. How you doing? I want to turn this watch. I want about 200 for it, but I paid three for it here. I ain't got my receipt. I bought it like two months ago. Why you can't give me 200 for it? Because we sell them for 50. I can't give you more than what I'm going to sell. Ashley steps in to assist the customer. I want $200 back for it. But we do give you a percentage when you buy it from us. A percentage? I want my money. I don't see anything on your account. Man. Do you have a receipt? No, I don't have no receipt. I brought it from here, though. Stop I want $200 for that watch. I can give you the 50 today. Security intervenes to handle the situation. I don't want no damn $50 watch. You I can come back. Line, man. You come from behind that glass, so I'll show you what $200 is. See, man, threatening nah, me is on, not going to get saying, far. If you're going to keep screaming, I'm not even going to deal with you. Oh, come on, man. That's some bull, man. I swear to God, man. Y'all playing me on my money, man. See, man, I, now you see security all in my face, man. See, and now I ain't even got money to get on the bus, man. A customer walks in looking to sell an item. A ring I want you to take a look at for okay. me. You know what it is? Diamonds. They're not diamonds. That's cubic zirconium and silver. It actually says it right on the inside of the ring. The customer does not give up. I bought it at a jewelry store. You I know where have. I bought it. I can't see it. I'm sorry. What are you saying it's worth? It's not. No, I'm not, I'm not leaving until you come to your senses, old man. Security has to step in. Don't talk to me like that. Okay, I won't. Hey! Hey! You're an idiot! You're an idiot! Yeah, what a gentleman you are! Don't anybody ever come here! Get me out of here! Get away! I hate this! Thank you for watching. And as always, like and subscribe for more content.